January is the month of new beginnings, so it is very important to be mindful of health and wellness. Today, let's build on that by focusing on the value of talking and healthy conversations. This is something that we take for granted these days with so many of us working and learning from home. Well, it's no wonder that so many people feel disconnected and lonely. Our mental health and wellness expert Jane Marks is here to tell us why talking and having conversations are integral to having a good, healthy lifestyle. Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Shannon. <laughs> you know, you are so right. Talking the mm -hmm. talk is so important. You know, when we, we listen to the research about talking and why it's so, support, it's so important for supporting health, what we know is that talking and having real conversation strengthens relationships and not only does it help you to get to know people around you but it helps with personal growth and think about this for children and teens it also relieves stress when facing small issues as well as insurmountable issues it helps take the weight off your shoulders and it allows for more clarity talking also provides clear communication not only does it include inflection and nuance which we miss when we're texting it allows you to experience a fuller and clearer story it helps with problem solving. It gives you another perspective on the issues and it helps create solutions. It provides emotional support. Offering a reassuring conversation will help you not only meet challenges and trauma in your life, but it often helps you heal from these challenges. And it's also important to point out that the big thing, just like you said, Shannon, it combats loneliness. Yeah, and you know, you bring up teens, I heard you mention, and I see them on all these devices and texting, and half mm -hmm. of the time they're in their rooms, they're not even connected to the people in their households. So how is not having these conversations affecting our youth these days? Oh, in so many ways. I think for, for teens, what happens is that they're not prepared to meet so many situations because they're not, they've not been using the language on a regular basis, mm -hmm. and they're not connecting, and they haven't developed these relationships, so that's important. But if you're going to take steps, you know, here's what we teach our teens and our adults for that matter. It's so important to carve out time and be intentional about conversations, conversations through the day. You got to learn to ask good questions and show that you're engaged. And this is so critical. You have to learn to become a good listener. Don't get excited about your own thinking. You have to ask for advice. Most people like to talk about themselves. and <laughs> This is a great way to make a real connection. And here's the, the, I love the 20 second rule. After 20 seconds, you may be perceived as too talkative. So you wanna be careful about how much you talk, but you still wanna make that con connection. And you wanna put your iPhones away. Mm -hmm. Multiple studies suggest that just having your iPhone can often ruin a conversation. So leave it in your pocket, leave it in your purse. And you know, that lets the other person know that you're interested. And having conversations is good for you and good for the person that you're chatting with. Now here's one wonderful rule of thumb when you think about this for the week. And that is to have six, six intentional conversations mm -hmm. for the week. How long do these conversations have to be? Like, they don't okay, have to hey, be the, bye. <laughs> no, they don't have to be that long. You okay. know, they can be three minutes, four minutes. You know, it doesn't have to be like a 20 minute conversation, but okay. just, just to connect. Yeah, those are great ways because it's important that we also improve on these conversations because we all are busy right now. We all get caught up in just our own things. So why is it important to continue to improve these conversation skills and just talking? Well, you know, not only does that help with your personal growth and development, it supports your mental health with overall functioning. And also what we know is that it helps with job performance. You know, it nurtures trust and work, and certainly now we need that more than ever. It encourages team building, it, it encourages a sense of belonging, and what better way this week to focus on wellness than just talking the talk. Mm, and that's so important, especially you mentioned like jobs. I speak to some of these young people and they don't know how to talk when they're starting a new job or, you know, on the first day of the job or in training or internships. They're like, oh, you know, it's like express yourself. I think these are things that we can practice with our kids and at home and with each other, too, and just conversations. I consider this a conversation. This is one of my conversations for the week, Jane. <laughs> this is one of your six, huh? <laughs> this is one of my, I'm counting it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I tell you, it's, it's, you're right about children specifically mm. because 
so many times once we teach them basic you know skills for example how to greet a person how to deal with a c difficult conversation because they spend so much time online and mm -hmm. particularly the pandemic has upended conversations so you know this is a great thing to think about when you think of you know, this year 2022 if we can focus on conversation building and, mm -hmm. and what that means to us for the long term and let, let's not leave out the adults we're not picking on the kids because we see a lot of them at the dinner table like this and not talking to each other so I love that a little tip you had about putting your phone down or get a basket at dinner and whoever picks their phone out the basket first has to pay the bill <laughs> always like that as well you know little things you could do to improve yourself as making sure you make others in the room feel like you're actually engaged with them right absolutely yeah. and, okay. and so if there's a theme this week it's mm -hmm. to talk that talk talk that talk walk that walk absolutely. Jay Marks, as always a pleasure thank you so much for starting your day with us <laughs>